What is up, Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan, and we are checking back into the Universal Orlando Resort for a construction update of the new Harry Potter roller coaster and to see if anything else is going on around both parts. Let's go! The first thing to talk about is going to be emeralds, or what used to be emeralds, as we have the work walls up around the entire site here at City Walk. And uh, hopefully soon a new exciting restaurant or something else is going to be coming here. We'll let you know when that happens, but let's walk around and show you what's going on. A little bit closer to the work wall, we can see some of the more famous locations here at City Walk, and a sign saying we are making a better City Walk. Please pardon the inconvenience. So yeah, exciting stuff. the front side of the building we have those work walls extending down in our last update they weren't here just yet but yep they're now pretty much surrounding the area there's no work walls over there so that's going to do it for the former emeralds location first park of the day islands of adventure and as you can see it's a little bit gloomy out we had some storms come through but hopefully the crowds have lightened up just a little bit well that side's not open so we'll go over here and there's not too bad of a wait we'll be in shortly well, about two, three minutes later, and we're in, on our way. Let's check up on the wait times. The park is open until 10 p.m., and we can see Hulk has a 60-minute wait, Dr. Doom 95. Uh, Ripsaw Falls, 40 minutes, and uh, Kong, 50 minutes. Let's see, JP is 25, Forbidden Journey is 45, Fly of the Hippogriff, 45 also. Uh, Poseidon's Fury, 20 minutes, and Zeus Trolley, 25 minutes. So not terrible over here, but not exactly a light day either. Hello, Potter Coaster. Let's see what's new with you this week. Right here, there is a large trench with a lot of concrete going up around it, and that's on the final break run right there. concrete forms going up around the area and this is towards the first portion of the ride right there
We can see some of the fins here installed on the final brake run. After a short train ride on the Hogwarts Express, we are now at Universal Studios Florida, right across from King's Cross Station. And while we are at Islands, there's a few things that I wanted to point out. We went to see the progress on the new Jurassic Park ride, and I didn't notice any new markings. But as that happens, we will keep you informed. But hey, we're over here at Studios now, and we're going to see what's going on. Universal Cinematic Celebration is now officially open. The park announced it on their website, and it's going to be running from here on out. But on select days, make sure to check their website for show times. Now they have added some lasers, but it's official. It's open. Revenge of the Mummy, and here's the location for the lockers. And we have the regular ride entrance right here. And then just off to the side around the corner, we can see work walls up around where all the old lockers used to be. And they're being removed currently. Here we can see crews are busy installing lights for a private event that's going to be going on tonight at the rocket stage. It's prop shop time. Let's go take a look. Still everything looks the same outside here at the front. Well, let's walk in and see if there's anything new. Again, all this is from the Triceratops encounter. Uh, looks like that big bag of dino chow is gone now. Still have the live animal crate. Bates Motel t-shirts. All the Halloween Horror Night stuff over here. A couple figurines. Yep, check. Yep, check. Yep, chance. And uh, that's pretty much it. I don't see anything different inside uh, the Halloween Horror Night section at least. Walk around the corner. Yep, he's still here posing. All the signage. I don't see anything else over there that looked different. So I have a lot of the wardrobe and costumes over here. Big mummy banner still right there. Wakita sign. Yep, hasn't moved. More signage, skis, photos, things like that. Pasta and pizza signs still here. And uh, all these signs. They have a couple different ones with the Universal Studios Florida logo, but uh, these are usually $20 and it's it's kind of thin, so I don't know about that one. Some lettering over here. That's kind of new, so that uh, used to be a sign for, uh, looks like, uh, scan your ticket. So yeah, that's kind of neat. They have uh, Blues Brothers here. The show has been relocated to Park Avenue. That's interesting. That's kind of a collectible, actually. And the price on that one... 150. Another sign over here, the Will Call kiosk. I still like that little bulldozer. Uh, varsity Letterman jacket. Still have the uh, Pharaoh's Gold over here from the Mummy gift shop. Uh, that's new. That sign, I'm wondering if it was uh, from Disaster or something like that, but uh, construction sign. We still have the Terminator stuff from California and from Florida. And uh, still have that sign over here. But that is going to do it for the prop shop. Alrighty guys, let's check up on the wait times here at Universal Studios Florida. The park is open until 10 p.m. And we can see Cinematic Celebration on the map now. 9.45, Fast and Furious Supercharge is a 20 minute wait. Minion Mayhem 35, Shrek 40 is 15, Rip Ride Rocket is 65, Transformers is 35. 
And on the next page, let's see what we got. Hogwarts Express, 15 minutes. Escape from Gringotts, 70 minutes. And then we have Men in Black with a 15 minute wait. Not too terrible. Simpsons Ride is 30 minutes. Twirl and Hurl is 15. E.T. Adventure is 10 minutes. And that's gonna pretty much do it for here at Universal Studios Florida. See, Central Park is open and Cinematic Celebration is gonna be happening tonight at 9.45. We're gonna show you a couple highlights a little bit later. So we're a couple minutes away from showtime and this place is beyond packed. Look at this, all the way down, just lined with people. Magatron, you'll be 
So yeah, just a little bit busy as you can see. Down that way, look at the swarm of people. And it's so busy that literally the gate right here is open so everybody can get out quicker. Well guys, that is gonna do it for another update here from the Universal Orlando Resort. And I am very happy to say that the Harry Potter roller coaster has a bunch of new track. And unfortunately, the only thing I can say is we didn't see any new markings for Jurassic Park or over in Kid Zone. But hey, Cinematic Celebration is now open. They've got some new additions like the lasers. Looks really nice. And of course, we're going to have more updates from here. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.